All right, yeah, speaking of the garden, that's where we are. Well, sort of. We're still in the studio, but uh, in theory, we're in the garden with our gardening expert, Dabney Morgan, joining us this morning. Love having you here live. Good morning. Yes, nice to be here. Hey, last time we were here, we plugged your, your uh, email address right, on our Facebook right. page. You got a lot of questions through that, too. Yeah, 27. 27. Took me about two or three days to answer them all, but I think I got them all taken care of. <laughs> Good. And for those folks who still have questions, we have some callers on the line this right. morning. We have Perry in Suffolk. Perry, go ahead with your question. Perry, can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead with your question for Dabney. Yes. Is it too early in the season to use weed and feed? To use what? I repeat that, please. Weed and seed. Oh, weed, you're thinking about weed and feed. Uh, you know, yes and no. It's, it's not, now is the time the weeds are growing. Now is the time to kill the weeds. My problem is I don't like weed and feed products because of the fact they're granular. And uh, the only way we control weeds is getting the chemical on the leaves. The leaves are tiny. It's hard for that product to hit the leaves. I prefer, if you want to fertilize, do so, but use a liquid weed killer where you can, uh, if you wet the foliage, you know you've got the chemical on there, plus you're not using so much chemical. You're just directing it on the particular weed growing. But I know a lot of folks, time is uh, an element. So if you have to do a weed and feed, now is a good time to do so. But remember, follow directions, because that's probably one of the misused products that is, again, it has to go on the foliage, so it has to be put out early in the morning when it's due on the ground, so it'll stick to the foliage and it has to be a sunny day. So they're pretty specific about those things. Right, yes, very All much right. so. Perry, thanks for your question. Let's go to Newport News now. Sandy is standing by. Hey, Sandy, good morning. What's your question for Dabney? Good morning, Dabney, good morning. my favorite garden man. First, I want to know about liriope. Is it too soon to cut all my liriope, and just how short do I cut it? Uh, no. In fact, uh, be sure and check your particular plants and make sure the new growth is not coming up in the center. If it is, you can still cut the old leaves back, but you'll have to do it possibly with a pair of scissors. Uh, if it hasn't started sprouting in the center, then just run the lawnmower cr across it, and I cut it back two to three inches from the ground. But now is the perfect time to do so, yes. All right, off to Chesapeake now. Carmela is standing by. Hey, Carmela, good morning. What's your question for Dabney? Good morning, Wavy TV 10, and also Mr. Dabney this morning. Um, I just recently purchased a property, and the grass, I'm going out this morning to clean up the yard and everything, but the grass is not growing at all. Um, what is the best thing to use to start to get the grass to grow this time of year? Well, what probably you have is what we call a, a perennial grass or summer grass. And they're brown during the winter, and uh, not really much you can do to get those to start growing until the temperatures get warmer. Usually they'll start greening up end of April, 1st of May. So at this point, uh, just live with unless you want to put in a year-round grass such as fescue. But fescue does not do well trying to start it in the spring because it is cool weather grass, but better to start that in the fall. This is another reason, again, to come back to weed and feeds we were just talking about. Uh, those folks that have summer grasses that are dormant, you don't need the fertilizer right now, yet you still have the weed problem. So uh, for you, go ahead and get a liquid weed killer, go spray the weeds, kill the weeds, but just wait for a month or so to fertilize when the grass starts to green up. All right, Dabney, thanks. All of our callers, thank you so much. Hey, if folks want to get you, we'll put up your email address right. again on our Facebook page. So if you did not get your phone call in, just head to our Facebook page, our Wavy TV 10 Facebook page. We'll put up your uh, email link, and then folks can shoot you an email. We got a little bump in the road tonight, but then the weather's warm. Good time to get out and get dirty, do some planting. This is the time to do it. Yes. All right, Dabney, thanks so much. Thank we you, appreciate David. it. All right.